questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. And I was inclined to agree with him, until I received a curious letter from Marjorie Tyrell. What did it say? Lady Marjorie suggests in the kindest of terms that we go through with the marriage. And as you can imagine, a suggestion from a future queen is difficult to ignore. Do you know why Lady Marjorie would send this to me? She and I have never corresponded. House Forrester still has many powerful allies. Including the Tyrells, apparently. I don't know what favors you had to call in, but... I feel manipulated, Roderick. A house like mine can't refuse a suggestion from Marjorie Tyrell. I'm being forced to marry you, Roderick. Is that truly what you want? Would you do that to me? Of course not, Elena. You're free to choose. <sighs> Thank you. I was afraid you'd refuse to back down, but you must care about me more than that. Let us stand together, Roderick. I will tell my father our betrothal oh, stands. Yes. Deepest apologies, my lord. Excellent. I tried to stop him, but so, he... the rumors are true. What rumors are you you have no right to just. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. What are you doing, you lord? You're not fat still fuck. marrying into this wretched family. Our houses will be joined, in fact. And we will stand proudly beside them. Can I change your mind? You can do much better than this cripple. And my son Griff needs a bride. Get out. Now. How rude of you. Your mother's the one who invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son home to mourn his dead father and brother. Ryan belongs at that funeral. With his family. Not until I'm certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. But now I hear you're ordering them around and refusing to feed them. It makes me start to question your obedience. I'd have to be you. Lud, enough of this. Fine. Let's talk this through. How about I talk and you fucking listen? Sure. Here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan called me Craven. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Fuck you, you fat fuck. Just do it, Roderick. No, Mum, I will not. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? What? I'm not Ring. kissing your ring. Do what you must. Fine. I'll just tell Ryan you didn't want to see him. No, please. And because of your defiance, I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsay do that. Ramsay Snow I said... know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. Really? And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Careful, Whitehill. House Glenmore backs us. And we're backed by the Boltons. So you'll be getting flayed together. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. By the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. Isn't that clever? Rick. He was an asshole, wasn't he? You'd put your pride ahead of your family. What's poor Ryan going to think? I won't bow to Lord Whitehill. And now your brother will pay the price. Maybe. 
Think of the house, mother. The house is more than one. It is all. My lord, are you well? I am going to kill that man. Well, <laughs> I wonder how well that's going to work out for me in the long run. Okay, we're back at the wall again. I'm heading up the lift or elevator. John Snow. You can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. Finn's a bully. Couldn't just let him push me around. Fight every bully at Castle Black and that's all you'll ever do. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. You won't stop bothering me. You were a squire. He thinks you have potential. He said... You fought for the North, with the Foresters. You were there. With the Twins. Yes. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? Nobody was expecting it. One minute we were drinking and telling jokes, and, and the next... The phrase cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. Cowards. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Your brother would have won the North's freedom. He deserved to be king. He was good at it. He was good at everything. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are wardens of the North. After what they did. Rest in peace, Rob Stark. It's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here. With the night's watch. Guard in the wall with John Snow. There were those here who will hate you for who you are. Probably. Southerners who will call you traitor, Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason, and they'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. Uh... I don't care if they hate me. Let them think what they like. Ignoring them won't be as easy as you think. Most of the men are criminals forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. I felt the same first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? To find the North Grove. The North Grove? <laughs> you serious? Old Nan used to tell us a tale about ice dragons and trees tall as the sky. Why would you want to find the North Grove? Why does it matter to you? It's important to House Forrester. Better keep that to yourself.
Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. Probably not. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? If you ask me to, I will. Glad to hear it. I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. We're Frostbite by the way, just in case you don't know. That's how he got his name. Duh. Okay, I think we're finished with the warm-up. I don't know where we're going to end up now. Oh, our meeting. So with Mira, and we're going to have our meeting, I believe. Okay, let's go. I'm here, but where are you? <laughs> yeah, thanks, King. Who's there? Where do you oh. think you're going? At this time of night? I, I was just headed back to my room. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Do you know what this uniform means? You're a prick. It means you serve the Lannisters. Ah. So, you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean, now. Don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Is there no way I can change your mind? Did you not hear me? At ease, Lucan. The lady is with me. Yes, sir. Enjoy your night. Don't you have an attitude? I hope it wasn't bothering you, my lady. I'm Damien. You were in the throne room earlier. What brings you to the garden? You do. You got my note. That was you. I'm very glad you could make it. Really? I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. Why all the secrecy? If you wanted to talk to me, you could have asked. It never seemed the right time. I am sorry about this, Mira, but you've made enemies of the wrong people. Oh, really? Here we go. A handmaiden should know her place. What people? I'll make this quick if that helps. I'd hate to see you suffer. I save his. You? What? What? What happened? What, 
What was that? What did it look like? He tried to kill me! Why would he do that? What are you doing here? I heard yelling. You did what you had to do, Lady Mira. You had no choice. I need to get back. No. Someone might see me. I'll take care of you. Oh, I know yeah. a few places in Fleabon. No one will ever find him. Everything all right, sir? <gasps> well, grab it. Go, Mira, go, go, Damien, go. Damien, where are you? Toss it, toss it. Get rid of it. Go, go, go. Get rid of it. Run. Run like a little bunny. Okay, run the funeral now. Okay, sad part coming up, I think. Son and father laid to rest together. Gwyn Whitehill doing here? I have no idea. Ask no Gwyn idea. Whitehill. Hello, Roderick. She's pretty pretty. Sir Ireland. It's been a while since we've met. Yes. Last time I saw you, you and my brother had almost started a war. Your father wanted to murder Asha for your little love affair, remember? That was a long time ago. May we speak privately? My lady. Bye-bye. Roderick, I came here because I know how hard these past few days must have been for you and your family. I know my words probably mean nothing to you. Your father caused this. He brought Ramsay to our door. He watched as that bastard killed my little brother. Yes, he had a part in it. But you cannot blame him for everything. I can. Still, your brother didn't deserve this. Neither of them did. Listen, I know my father is intent on using Ryan as a hostage, but I think you deserve some news of him. I know it's little consolation, but if I can offer you this... So you disagree with your father, then? I will admit his methods are often... misguided. But he's not mistreating your brother. I'm looking after him, but... What? The other day he said something that made me worry. What was that? He asked me if his father died because he was a coward. He asked if he was really a thief and a traitor, like my father says. I don't wish to upset you, but... I thought you should know. Please help him, Gwyn. Don't let him believe what your father tells him. I've been doing my best to set him right. But he is only a child. He feels forgotten. Alone. He's waiting for his family, but every day my father tells him they will never come. That they've chosen their pride over him. I will get him back. He'll be with his family again. You tell him that. Of course. But if you truly want to bring Ryan home, this war has to end. I don't like you know him. that. We don't have to be enemies, Roderick. Well, that's Hello, your father's Gwyn. choice. It's good to see you, Talia. I hope I can count on your discretion. Fuck discretion? Your dad's a prick. Roderick. Hello. You should speak to Mother. Okay. Oh, Mom! Mother, come join the others. He should be here. He should be with his family. Yes, he should, but, but he's not. But instead, they send her. Gwyn may be able to help us. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one. But his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell, saw our lands destroyed, everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house. My children. I won't let that happen to us. You must be ready to defend us, Roderick. 
Your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds, no matter what, you must do it. Promise me. You must protect them. It won't come to that. We will defeat them. War asks much of a man that he is not prepared to give. You must be ready. Always. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. We'll kick ass, love. Mira, Asher, even Garrett. They all stand with us. We are strong. Yes. I suppose we have to be. Would you say a few words, my lord? My father. He was everything. Everything I ever wanted to be. He showed me what it is to be a lord. He was always honourable. I never knew a better man. And I am... I am sorry. I love you, father. Ethan, my little brother. He stood up to Ramsay Snow. He saved our sister's life and paid with his own. He was only a boy. We honor Lord Gregor Forrester, my husband, my love, and our Lord Ethan. My sweet little boy. <laughs> but now is time to say goodbye. Father and son are returned to the earth, to the ice. And from their sacrifice, new life begins. Iron from ice. Iron, Iron from ice. ice. From ice. From eyes, from eyes, we forced us born to eyes, we all return. Father, brother, I've sworn, I've sworn to guard this rest you've earned. I'd bear my neck to Swim the shivering sea. Pain slavers play in crimson rains to bring Ethan back to me. Snow grabbed me from my mother's grave. 
going on? Roderick, you have to do something. Lord Whitehill's son has arrived. Griff Whitehill needs to torment us. Nothing worse than a fourthborn with something to prove. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Form up and follow my lead. You'll be taking your vows. You too, Tuttle. Time to start proving you're a brother. Oh, the things we do for family. I wonder sometimes if it's worth it. All the sacrifices. Enjoy the wedding. How much further to Marine? A few days. If the Lost Legion doesn't catch up to us first. No. I overheard a couple of men whispering about the Lannister Guard. They're questioning people. Is there anything else for you to be worried about? What was that? Well guys, that's what's coming up in uh, episode 3. Thanks for watching episode 2 with me. Hope you guys enjoyed um, enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing it so far. This is a fabulous Telltale game.